Welcome back. Today, I'm going to take you through the steps of creating a website using Canva. So stay tuned. All right, so I've got Canva up here and um, you'll notice when you come to your home screen, um, you will find a design for website. Now, um, it, when you click it, it'll say create blank um, or you can just um, come here to one of these icons. You'll find websites and you can click websites and it'll show you templates for different website designs. Um, now you can start with any one of these and I'm going to take you through the steps uh, for creating a website in Canva. Uh, now you just note that uh, Canva doesn't really uh, create uh, websites, real websites. They are more like landing pages um, and they are great if you don't necessarily want to pay to, for a web host um, and you're just trying to sell um, a course or a service and you need somewhere to send your um, clients to. So I'm going to take you through the steps of creating a landing page that offers a course for Canva tutorials. You'll notice that when you do click on the website tab, you're going to get different types of websites and templates. So uh, depending on what type of website you want to create, for me, I'm going to create an education based um, website where I'm going to be offering uh, courses. So if I look to the left side, I'll see all the different templates. And if I click on layouts, I'll see uh, the different um, types of uh, layouts um, available. So if I just go to the um, left, I can just click on any of these tabs and I'll get a whole bunch of different layouts for content. If I want a bar chart, I can have a bar chart. If I want a layout for contact, I can see the layouts for contact. Now, I'm just going to go back to templates for now. And um, when you hover over, you'll see how many pages you have with that template. So over here, I'm not seeing a number of pages, but I'm just going to click it. Um, and yes, it's just one page. Um, now, if I go back and I hover on some of the other ones, I can see this one is six pages. So when I click on this one, um, it'll say apply all six pages um, or you can just apply individual pages. So when I apply all pages, I'm going to get six pages and then you can come in here and you can customize the um, uh, words uh, and um, the colors and the images the way you like. Um, so uh, that's if you're using a template. And um, if you're not, then you can just um, go back and you can go to layouts and then you can, um, for example, um, look for the home page which is right here and you can choose any one of these layouts. If you don't like that, um, you can use this and um, then you can add pages as you need to. Um, so I'm going to um, create my uh, starting page or home page and I'll be right back. All right, so I decided to kind of um, rejig my uh, main page. Uh, so this is going to be my um, header and in my header section I'm going to have um, my headline here and um, subheading and uh, an image that I made using Canva. Uh, now when I go to uh, preview this, um, this is what I'm going to see um, when someone clicks into my landing page and I'm not 
um, liking this sharp line here. Um, so one thing that I learned is that when you're working on a website, um, you're actually going to get this little resizer here at the bottom. And if I just make this smaller, um, what it allows you to do is to increase the size of your um, section. Um, you, you see every page. So this is page one here. Um, this is page, my page two. This is my page three. And then I have my page four here. And um, what I want to do is I just want to move my page two onto um, this first section here. So um, what I can do is I can just expand this to just keep the flow of all the graphics together and let it just end uh, naturally on the page to kind of allow for a smooth transition. Um, so now I can move this stuff up and just continue and uh, with page one and then I can move on to page two if I wanted to do that. Um, uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So on your page one, what you want to focus on is um, uh, a headline, um, maybe a, a subheading and some kind of imagery that's going to grab your visitor's attention. On my second page, what I'm going to have is my course overview. So I'm just going to um, fix that up and I will be right back. So I'm pretty much finished um, creating my landing page. Um, so here is the first page and then I've got um, a course overview and I've got a section with frequently asked questions and then I have my um, click to action section where I'm telling people what um, I'm what I'm providing, what service I'm providing, and for how much. Uh, now there's a lot more that I could add to this landing page um, and um, just to kind of go over what those items um, should be. Um, I do have a summary of the things that you should include, which um, would include a header section, an introduction section, key benefits, course highlights, testimonials. If you have testimonials, you'll want your call to action section, which is what I have at the bottom. Um, you'll have an instructor, instructor section um, about the instructor, facts, sec facts section, closing section, and a footer. Um, so I'm not exactly there, but um, for the purposes of it moving uh, and continuing uh, in on creating a landing page, um, this is what I've come up with so far, uh, which um, will take us to the next step. So once you're done with your design, um, you can go in and preview. So I'm just going to click on the preview button and I'll show you what that looks like on mobile. Um, now there is a button here called resize on mobile um, and what it will do is it will resize your elements uh, and text uh, to fit on mobile um, or to be mobile friendly. Um, now when that does happen, you'll see some of your elements shift and while that is normal, you'll find that some of your elements will uh, be either stretched or condensed. Um, so just be mindful of that when you are placing elements on your um, work space. Um, so that's what it looks like on mobile. If I click the desktop icon, icon this is what it's going to look like on desktop. And um, So that's pretty much uh, what it's going to look like. And then over here, we'll, we'll, we'll link it to uh, my shop, uh, but I'm not there yet. So before we get there, I want to go back and I'm going to close this. Um, and I did include a little bit of an animation there of a, um, a line. 
Um, now what I want to do is I do want to include some animation. So what I'm going to do is um, um, just click on this text. So if I click on this text um, and I click on animate, I'm going to get this section here uh, on the basic text animation. So, um, and when you hover over each option, you can see what it's like. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the pan. Uh, I seem to like that. Um, and it's going in that direction. And um, over here, I'm going to animate and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pop button. Um, over here, again, I'm going to use the pan button. Um, same with here. I'm going to use the pan button. <clears throat> and over here, I'm going to use the pan button again. If I keep going over here, um, I'll click the um, wipe button for that and um, over here I am going to do the pop. Now this is a shape. It's a shape with writing uh, inside it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the shape to my shop where people can purchase the course. All right, so one of the other things that we noticed when we were going into preview is we have this little box here that says without navigation, and there's also an option with navigation. Now, um, when I click on with navigation, I'm gonna get an error because um, I don't have any links set up, so that's not gonna work, but um, I'll set up some links and, and let you see what that looks like. Basically, they're just hyperlinks to other areas of the page. And what you'll see at the top is a menu um, that allows you to just jump to that spot. Now, for a landing page, um, I wouldn't recommend it because you want your viewers to read what's on your landing page as they're moving down um, through the information. Um, if you let them jump, then they're not going to read all the information that's on your landing page. But um, I'll let you see what that looks like um, if with the navigation. So um, let's close that. And um, I want to go back to this box where I created the link. Now you'll see that there is an underline on the... On the um, wording there, which really doesn't look appealing to the eye. And here is a workaround that I want to share with you. So I am uh, going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that link. Okay, so now it's it's removed. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make a copy of this shape. And so here now I have a copy of that shape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the writing from this one. And um, I'm going to um, change the um, shading to transparent. And then I'm going to add a border just so that I know that it's there. Okay. And so now I have a shape. And what I can do is I can uh, create a link that's connected to that shape. So I'm going to go back and type in the link to my shop. And I'll say done. And now I'm just going to move this right on top. Uh, and so the link is still there, but you there's no underline on the words. And when I go to preview, let me just slip 
uh, change that to without navigation. Um, and so now uh, when I go down to my um, link, you can see that I can still click it and it, it'll go to my shop, but there's no underline. Okay, so that's just a little a tip uh, trick for you. Okay, I'm going to close this and I'm going to show you what it's going to look like with navigation. So if I wanted to add navigation, um, what you could do is um, you could um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the navigation with the pages here. And um, in order for the navigation to work, you have to name your pages. So I'm going to name this page my home page. I'm going to name this my uh, course overview. I'm going to name this my fac. And I'm going to name this course enrollment. Okay, now when I go to preview, right now it is set to without navigation. When I click with navigation, what I'm going to get is um, menus here. And basically, they're just quick links to um, the course overview, to the fac, and to the course enrollment. Okay, so that's what the menu is going to look like. So I'm just going to close this. And so once you're satisfied with your landing page, the next step will be to for you to publish your website. So you you'll see this uh, design. Um, you'll see this button here. You can click publish. Um, your design is going to be locked while you're publishing your website. Now, if you have a domain, then you can, uh, you will be able to add your domain. Um, you can purchase a domain, um, and here's where you're using your existing domain, or you can just get a free Canva domain. Um, and you can, you can, uh, publish it with navigation or without navigation. So I'll, I'll leave the with navigation so that you guys will be able to see what that looks like. Okay. Um, so if you're happy with this, and I'm going to go with the free domain, um, and I'll press continue. And now it's going to ask me to um, create my free domain. So uh, I'll, I'm going to name this uh, learn Canva with me. And I'm just going to type in here a, a description. Okay, and when you're happy with your uh, page URL um, and your page description, uh, there's also an advanced section where um, the search engine visibility is disabled. I'm going to turn that on. Um, and up here, you'll notice that there's like insights. So it'll show you how many people have visited your, your sites. Okay. And once you are happy, you can just click on the publish. Oh, I'm getting excited. Are you getting excited? I can't. Woohoo. Okay. So let's view my website. So here it is. And there you go, learn, learn Canva with me. And here it is. It looks amazing. And when I come down to the button, you can see that it is hyperlinked. I'm just going to click that button to make sure it goes to my shop. And here's my shop. Now I don't have a product for the, the Canva course yet. I'm not at that stage yet. Um, but once I do, I'm going to go back and I'm going to link it to the course purchase um, product and uh, allow people to enroll. And then I'll provide uh, links to the tutorials and exercises. 
Um, so uh, I'm just going to go back here. And um, of course, if you need to edit the design, you can always go back and you can edit your design um, here. And then you can uh, click on your publish and it remembers your uh, website and then you can just um, rewrite what's there. Um, and that is pretty much it, my friends. Uh, I hope that you did enjoy this uh, tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments for me. I want to thank you for joining me. And again, if you found any part of this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to receive updates of when new content comes out. Thank you for joining me, my friends. And until next time, bye-bye.